Shashank in Aurelia. Okay, uh, where is Aurelia? O R I L L I A. I know. You know, somebody, I, sometimes you guys are such a big help to me because I'm a knucklehead, often a knucklehead, and I readily admitted it. We were <laughs> talking about, I don't know, something to do with the old Czechoslovakia, and we have friends that are in Slovakia, and I have friends that are in the Czech Republic. I never put two and two together that the Czech Republic and Slovakia used to be Czechoslovakia. Whoa! Okay, see? And somebody on the comment section said, I'm sure you must have known that. Well, guess what? I didn't, and now I do. So thank you. I appreciate it because I'm a knucklehead. Okay, or just an ignorant American. All right, Mr. McGowan. Okay, I have the budget to upgrade either my processor or my amplifier. They're both about 10 years old, and I'd like to know which one would be more beneficial to change. Upgrade the processor to get the latest formats, or upgrade the amp to get more power to drive my 4 ohm Martin Logan motion speakers. Which of the two would have a larger impact on the sound coming from the speakers? I personally like my speakers to sound a little on the warmer side. Well, again, you know, I like to answer these questions, but I always have to do a preamble by saying, I don't know anything more now than what your speakers are. So I don't know what your processor is. If it's something built into a preamplifier, absolutely, you need to upgrade that sucker right away. But I don't know what your amp is. I do know, thank you, what your speakers are. So Martin Logan's are very revealing speakers. They are not the speaker I would have chosen for <laughs> if I like a warmer sound because they are not warm speakers. So you're gonna need to focus on something that's really gonna make them bloom. And I'm guessing I'm gonna suggest um, the amplifier. If, if what you're trying to do is warm those Martin Logan's up, then finding a sweet sounding amplifier would be pretty high on my list. Something like our 1200, that with the vacuum tube input stage, um, you could try, I don't know, who, who else makes stuff, but look for something with a warm sound. That's probably where I would lean first. Um, DACs are a big deal to me. I think DACs are one of the more critical aspects of our sound systems, and so we want to make sure we've got something close to the latest technology because amps have been around for a long time. And while we make improvements to amps as we move along and learn stuff, we're always improving. The rate of change of an amplifier is like this, right? So from here to here, didn't make a whole lot of progress relative to what we had. But DAX, whoosh, all of a sudden the rate of change is huge. A DAC of two years ago doesn't sound anything like a DAC of today. And tomorrow, we're going to do even better because that technology is moving really quickly. Amps, not so much. That said, most of us don't pay enough attention to our power amps, and we should. They are critical to the way things sound. So that's my vote for you, sir, out there in Aurelia, wherever that is.